I'm jumping on here to reach out to all my regular clients and to the mums with the kids haircuts that I used to do in Karingal. I'm just letting you know that I won't be going back to that shop anymore. I never thought that I would lose my job over a, a vaccine, but the positive thing is that I've set up my own barber space. So anyone that I used to cut or anyone who isn't getting the vaccine, please hit me up, message me. Um, I'll be happy to cut your hair. The new rules are that you aren't allowed to go to a barber shop without being vaccinated. So I am happy to take the vaccinated or the unvaccinated and still cut your hair. So please um, send me a message and I look forward to seeing you again. I miss all my clients actually, so please, and especially the kids' haircuts that I used to do. Hey folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. We just saw here was a marriage at first sight um, contestant, Joe Todd, loses job at Barber for refusing COVID-19 vaccine. That's right, she, the, the former um, MAFS contestant, Joe Todd, has been let go from her job for refusing to get the COVID vaccination. The Victorian mother of two, 40, who appeared on this year's season of the Channel 9 reality show, uploaded a video on Instagram reviewing she lost her job of 12 years at a local barbershop in Karingal. Todd, who has almost 50,000 followers on Instagram, then revealed she was opening her own barber sh space for vaccinated and unvaccinated clients. I just um, jumping on here to reach out to all my regular clients and to the mums with the kids haircut that I used to do in Kringle. Todd began, just letting you know I won't be going back to that shop anymore. I never thought I would lose my job over a vaccine but the positive thing is I, I've set up my own barber space so anyone I used to cut or anyone who isn't getting the vaccine, please hit me up, message me, I'll be happy to cut your hair. Okay, she added the new rules, uh, you aren't allowed to go to the uh, barber shop without being vaccinated. So I'm happy to take the vaccinated or unvaccinated and still cut your hair. Lockdown in Victoria expected to end in late October when the state is predicted to reach 7% double doses. Under the current roadmap, hairdressers and beauty services can open indoors to five fully vaccinated patrons. At the 80%, hairdressers and beauty services can open to fully vaccinated patrons indoors with one person per four square meter with a cap of 150. The businesses will also have to follow strict COVID rules including QR code loggings, and face mask requirements. So the um, news.com.au has contacted Victorian Health for comment. Most of the comments on Todd page are largely supportive of her stance, with fans dubbing her brave and strong. Since rising to prominence on the reality series, the social media influencer has sported various beauty treatments on her Instagram page, including her new veneers and anti-wrinkle injection. I'm not going to lie, I, I do go and get some anti-wrinkle injections in my forehead. It just gives you that extra confidence, Todd told her followers via Instagram stories early this year. Todd isn't the first um, MASF contestant to make anti-vaccination statements. Former bride Haley, Haley um, Vermin from last year's season said on Instagram that she wouldn't have children with someone who had received the COVID jab. The 33 year old former trader who is now on OnlyFans said, love me or hate me, this is my page and my opinion on the matter. The reason why I asked is because I personally wouldn't. I will not bring life into this way with someone who had it. Okay, so anyway, what are your thoughts on that um, folks? Do you reckon um, Joe Todd is is doing what she wants to do. I mean, even though it's pretty much like um, optional to get the vaccine in Australia. So, what do you reckon of, of her not getting the vaccine? Do you reckon she made a good move or they're just basically her choice? Anyway, have a good day.